Hey there, I'm Angela Brown, and I am a content creator, and I'm recovering from burnout. And if you've clicked on this, you're probably recovering from burnout too, or maybe you're in burnout. What they don't tell you about being a content creator is that if you create content every single day and you're a high achiever, eventually at some point you will reach burnout. Now, burnout is not just for content creators. A lot of people who are parents, who are caregivers, who are business owners, they are also high achievers and they also reach burnout. We're going to specifically talk about content creators, though, because for the last seven years, I've been both a business owner and I've been a content creator. I started out by myself with no resources. And so I created a YouTube channel, but it was a daily YouTube channel with one new show every single day. And I was like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. I had all this energy and all this drive and enthusiasm. And I thought I can just go like this forever. What I didn't know and what nobody tells you is that there comes a time in your content creation career where you will stop and realize, what am I doing all this for? And most of us will stop and we'll say, I'm doing this to educate other people. I'm doing this to help other people. I'm doing this to entertain other people. But at what cost? And so what I'm here to share with you today is that there is a cost to going all out massive action, okay? So most of us are starting our content creator journey thinking that we're this really fast, high-powered, shiny, bright vehicle, if you will. And we are the vehicle. We ourselves are the vehicle that is going to take the information and we're going to send it out to the world. But my question then to you is, what are you fueling that vehicle with? And how are you taking care of that vehicle? Because we take very different care of a vehicle that looks like this than we take care of a vehicle that looks like this, right? The behaviors and the way that we treat them are two different things. And so the fuel is different. How we look at them and how we respect them are two different things. So what I want you to do today, your assignment for today, is to decide, are you a Lamborghini or are you an Acer? An Acer is the old beat up car that's kind of chugging along and it's not at its A game. Okay, so which version of the car are you? And the reason that I say that is because many content creators are actually somewhere in the middle. They're a practical version of a vehicle that's going to get you from point A to point B. They're doing okay. They may take premium fuel. They may take just regular gasoline. But if you're going to be a premium vehicle and you're going to really show up and you're going to really shine, what you have to consider is you have to take care of yourself better. And as a content creator, one of the things that we do is we take care of everyone else first. We prepare our content, we produce it, we edit it, we tweak it, we make it perfect. And then the comments start coming in and we try to stay up with those comments. We try to cater to the ads that are coming in that help pay for the channel and all those things. But we end up putting ourselves the very last. So this whole entire series that I'm doing right now is sponsored by Lifelong Productions. And the reason we're doing it is because I have reached a burnout myself. And as a series of projects that we do on a daily basis. I don't have the luxury of taking time off. As soon as I was going through this burnout phase, and it started a couple of years ago, I realized that I needed some strategies to pull through that so that I could stay in the game over and over and over again. Because one of the things that I've seen over the last several years is as I've been a content creator and as I've studied my friends, a lot of them have also burned out. And so They've stopped making YouTube videos. They've stopped making podcasts. They've stopped writing books and creating content and doing all the things because they hit a wall and they're like, why am I doing this? I just don't have the energy to go anymore. What they did is they took a really, really fancy ride and they plugged it up with no sleeping. They plugged it up with crappy food. They annihilated the, the world of taking care of the, the vehicle and giving it its regular service updates, right? They didn't work out. They didn't sleep right, all the things, and then they burned out. So on this journey, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a daily live stream. And this is your chance to jump in and have a conversation with me and let me know where you are and how you're doing. And I'm also going to give you an update on where I am and how I'm doing. And maybe that will give you some hints or tips or ideas of how you might work through your burnout as well. A couple of things that we're going to touch bases on every single day. And we're going to touch on content creator sleep. How much did you sleep every night? Because sleep is essential for optimal cognitive function. It enhances your memory, consolidation, problem-solving abilities, creativity, and overall mental clarity. And this is really important to know because if you don't sleep right, you're not going to be at your A game. 
The next thing is hydration. Many of us skip the hydration in our day or we just fill our bodies with sugary sodas and, and caffeinated drinks, okay? So dehydration is what's going to affect your mood swings and it's also gonna help your brain function properly. Another thing that we're gonna talk about is fasting. And so you wouldn't think that fasting is going to help you a lot, but it actually cleans up your cells, stabilizes your blood sugar levels, it reduces inflammation, and it produces ketones in your body. And one of the things that we want to talk about is how do you feed your body premium fuel? And fasting is one of those things where it starts repairing your body from the inside out. And it's going to be one of the key factors in recovering from content creator burnout. So I'll share with you the journey and we'll do it step by step so that it's not like boom to your system, right? It's going to be a, a, an easy process, but you'll get better at it as you go along. All right. The next thing that we want to uh, discuss every day is the nourishment. What are we feeding our bodies with and what kind of fuel? Because the fuel that we put in our bodies affects our energy levels, our mental clarity, and our stress management. And like I said before, many content creators are not just content creators, but they're also coaches. They're also parents. They're also caregivers. They have animals that they take care of. And there's a whole host of other things that they are required to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And so being a content creator is only one little small compartment of their life, right? And so I want to ask you this question, and it's a really important question to ask, but if you have 168 hours in a week, which you do, are you willing to spend two of those hours a day on you? So we're talking seriously, 14 hours a week, taking care of yourself and everything that we're going to do in those 14 hours are going to give you more energy and more clarity of thought. And it's going to help the rest of your time throughout the week be more productive. And so at first you're going to say, I don't have an extra two hours a, a week to give, let alone two hours a day. And I'm going to show you how in two hours a day you can consolidate and you can work smart, not hard. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of strategies that I've put together over the last seven years trial and error, just doing it all the hard way so that I can prevent the burnout where you just give up and you're like, I'm not doing this anymore, right? It's really important that we admit to ourselves that, hey, if I'm on this journey, I want to be on the journey for the long haul. It's like if you were driving a really expensive car and you're going across country, here's your really expensive car. But what happens if you forget to put fuel in it? It's only going to go so far and so fast for so long. And then it's going to absolutely come to a grinding halt. And you've invested all this money in it. And then what happens? Can't use it. And so we don't want the same thing to happen to us. On this journey, I want to remind you of two things. Number one, you matter. And number two is you are enough. And so if you've been giving yourself a hard time saying, hey, you know, why am I even doing this? You do matter. Your voice matters. There's a reason that you're a content creator. The second thing is you are enough. And so we don't have to keep struggling to be something bigger and better. What we have to do is just be the best version of ourselves. And that's what this whole process is about, is being the best version of yourself so that you're still here two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years from now, okay? If you have a message, I don't want you to burn out and go away. I want you to create systems right now that will save you for the long haul. All right, now, who am I and why am I doing this? Who am I? I'm Angela Brown. I'm a content creator. And I run a company called Savvy Cleaner. And for the last 32 years, I've been a professional house cleaner. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I'm not, I'm not licensed in any of those things. I'm a house cleaner by trade. And I now run six YouTube channels. And we have daily shows that come out, daily podcasts, daily blogs. We do a lot of content creation right now. And I spend a lot of time interviewing doctors and therapists and a lot of experts who have spent years at all the fine Ivy League schools learning and doing all the research. And then they show up on our channels and they share that information with us. Okay. So I'm going to bring you the best of the best information. But what I want to share with you is this after creating content every single day for seven years, and even before that, as a house cleaner, I had to pace myself because pacing yourself is one of the things that's going to allow you to still be in the game year after year after year after year. Okay. So the first couple things that I want you to do today is decide which are you. That's going to be your first requirement. Decide which are you. 
Are you a fancy car that looks really amazing and you're bright and shiny and happy and you're just flying along with premium fuel? Or are you a middle of the road vehicle where you're getting along, you're doing okay, you're practical, you're not real shiny, you're not real fast, you're not real bright, you're reliable and you're turning out content on a regular basis? Or are you uh, an old beat up vehicle that maybe has some duct tape on it and you're kind of falling apart and the bumper is maybe smashed in a little bit and maybe it's just hanging on by some zip ties and maybe you're on your last leg and this is kind of the end of the road for you. Okay, I want you to decide where are you in your journey and then leave a note in the notes below. Tell me which are you? Are you a Lamborghini? Are you a Honda Odyssey or are you an Acer? Where are you in your journey? Because you have to decide where you are today in order to make improvements. If you can't admit where you are and you don't know where you are in the journey, it's hard to know where to start and then to know where to end up, right? What is your goal and where are you today? So leave your, your notes in the comments below. All right, the second thing that I want you to do is I want you to subscribe because every time you go to YouTube and you're probably a content creator, you're probably on YouTube a lot, I want to pop up in your feed because we have new updates and new strategies every single day for content creators. And we're gonna talk about things like diet and exercise and sleep and a whole bunch of content creation strategies from apps and software and things like that that will help you work smart, not hard. And the reason this is important is for this reason. I want you to be here five, 10 years from now, but I want you to do it with the best tools. I don't want you to just be struggling and then have an old beat up car at the end, like, hey, that's your reward. I want you to have a fast, exciting, bright, exhilarating ride the whole entire journey, right? So join me on this journey. Again, my name is Angela Brown. I am a content creator and I want to know your name and I want to know what kind of content you create as well. Leave me notes in the comments below. All right, that's it for today. I'm super excited that you joined me. And until we meet tomorrow, remember two things. Number one, you matter. And number two, you are enough.